Hey guys, it's Riley. Hope you guys are having a really great day today. I am here today to address a question that a lot of people seem to be asking and having arguments over. And that question is, can you be trans without experiencing dysphoria? I am going to be here talking about my opinion on the subject. So here we go. Short answer is yes, you can still be trans if you don't experience gender dysphoria. The main reason for that is because everyone experiences gender differently. I've got the definition here, so I'm gonna read it out to you. Gender dysphoria is the distress a person experiences as a result of identifying as something other than their biological sex and assigned gender at birth. But long story short is that not everybody experiences this distress. Some people experience gender euphoria instead, which is feeling great about your gender or gender identity without the uncomfortableness or distress. Some trans people are completely comfortable with their bodies, even if they don't identify as a gender that their biology is usually associated with. And one of the most important things I have is that just because someone doesn't experience dysphoria doesn't mean that they won't transition. Not being uncomfortable in their body doesn't mean they wouldn't be more comfortable after they've transitioned somehow. And I can look at this from a personal experience because I never have experienced gender dysphoria. And some people look at me and they're like, well, you can't really be trans if you haven't experienced gender dysphoria. And I kind of have to look back and be like, yeah, you can. I mean, I'm on horror hormones, I've been on testosterone for over two years, I've had my top surgery, I'm pretty sure I'm trans. But people are like, oh no, if you don't experience dysphoria and this distress, you're not trans. I've just always been comfortable in my body and I've never felt disconnected from my body. While my anatomy might be generally associated with the female gender, like I don't feel uncomfortable having a vagina. Like I'm perfectly comfortable with my parts and I'm not looking to change them. I got top surgery not because I was dysphoric about my chest or I was so uncomfortable having my chest only because I thought I would be more comfortable without it. Like I was comfortable with it but I thought I'd be more comfortable without it. And I feel like that's just a valid reason as any to transition. So yes, you can be trans without experiencing any type of gender dysphoria. I am living proof of this. If you need more proof, there are more people out there. I don't know if there are more YouTubers out there talking about this but yes, you can be trans without dysphoria. I hope that has cleared some stuff up for you. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful or entertaining, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what your thoughts on this whole thing is. However, I did just give you proof on why you don't need dysphoria to be trans, so you might not want to try and argue the other side here because, like, there's, like, proof. Like, I'm existing proof as to why you don't need it. Be sure to subscribe to this channel because I post two videos a week here. Click the two buttons on the screen to subscribe to this channel and to my side channel, and click the video box because it will take you to my last video. I love you guys lots. I hope you stick around and I will see you guys Thursday. Goodbye.